I'm in Shenandoah National Park at the Skyland Resort. The Skyland Resort's still closed, but uh, this is one of the parking lots you can get to. There's my little red car. And if you look around, you'll see there's still a little bit of snow up here. Although today's fairly warm, it's about 55 or so. And uh, we're going to head up that way to the summit, Stony Man Summit. And the trailhead's right over here. The elevation here in the parking lot is 3,700 feet. Well, I'm still in the parking lot, but right here I thought I'd show you this little curious thing here. That is marked Skyland B, and it's a gravity station mark. There's a line of these that runs from Dulles Airport all the way up to here. This is the highest one. And these are points where the force of gravity has been precisely measured. And so people can use these points to calibrate their gravity meters. So anyway, there's the uh, trailhead. Let's get started with the hike. Short hike. Six tenths of a mile into my hike, I'm up to 3,930 feet. <clears throat> That's where I came from. And I just passed a, a little marker with a number 13 on it. This is the way I'm headed. So, right before this bend, I'm going to head off here to the left and bushwhack my way over here to where this uh, Stony Man benchmark is supposed to be. We'll see if we can find it. I think, I think we probably can. Okay, well there it is, Stony Man Benchmark. It's it's in a rock, huge rock out growing here, the highest point on the mountain. According to the paperwork, it was benchmarked in 1933, and the elevation here is 4,011 feet. Here's what it looks like. Whoops. Oh. Damn, almost fell off the rock. Wow, that would have been exciting. Now, in the summertime, you won't be able to see anything. But uh, down there's the way I came up. And uh, kind of a look around. At least it's not super windy up here today. Now, there's a couple of reference marks up here, too, supposedly. So, I'll see if I can locate any of them, but there's the actual Stony Man benchmark right there. Okay, well up there on that big mound of rocks is the uh, Stony Man benchmark. And over here, there's reference mark number two. And uh, I'll try and get a still picture. There's an arrow pointing towards the benchmark, but I don't think it's pointing perfectly at it anymore. But anyway, there it is.
nine tenths of a mile into my hike. I'm up to uh, 4,000 feet. Over that way is uh, <clears throat> where the uh, benchmark is and the highest point for Stony Man. This is the way I came up, and the trail comes up here. And when you get to here, is a hitching post for horses, and you'll see uh, Stony Man Summit that way. No dogs, no horses beyond this point. And then it continues on around in a loop, which it takes you right back down where you started from. So when you're coming up, you'll hit a point where it's either you have to either go left or right. It doesn't make any difference. If you if, coming up, if you go to the right, you'll come up this way. And if you go to the left, you'll come up this way. Anyway, I'm going to head over here to the uh, summit and overlook and uh, see what we can see. It's a little cloudy and hazy today, so might not be the best view. Okay, here's the overlook. It's Stony Man down near Skyline Drive. This is looking to the west. Down there's Luray, Virginia, Shenandoah Valley, Massanutten Mountain Range, off in the distance, and that V-shaped gap is where US 211 goes over the mountain, over to Newmarket. Just thought I'd point out on the way back down to the parking lot, I'm going to taking a different trail. On the way up, I took the blue and white trails, and coming down, I'm following the yellow uh, trail. I'm not quite sure what the difference is in between them, but I got a feeling they're both taking me back to where my uh, car is. So, actually, you see, if you look there, you can see the double double yellow blazing. So, this is probably where they come together right here. Okay, this explains that on, on your way up, there'll be a split in the fork in the uh, trails like this. If you go to the left, that's the horse trail, and it's blazed yellow. And then if you go to the right, that, that uh, post there says no horses, and that's the, uh, the blue trail. So that's the difference. Doesn't make any difference as far as getting to the top. 
anyway they come together here and uh i'm going to continue on down towards my seven miles into my hike I'm uh, down back down about 3,700 feet there's the parking lot and uh, here's where I came from down the horse trail which is blazed down there. and uh, it comes right past this parking lot and then it continues on down this way to the Re Skyland Resort and the horse stables they're not open yet this year though they don't open until like mid-April so anyway that's it for the hike This is a map of the hike. The, it's two quadrangle maps uh, taped together. The right hand side is Old Rag Mountain, 1994, and uh, the left side is Big Meadows, 1994. And I, this is my first hike for the year, and so I did, uh, I had to pick something kind of easy until I get myself back into shape again. So this is a fairly short hike. This is from the uh, parking lot at the Skyland Resort up to Stony Man Summit. I'd end up being 1.8 miles and it's only 380 feet of elevation. So that's that's pretty easy. Now you park to get there you park at the Skyland Resort which is mile marker 41. This red line here is Skyline Drive coming down from the north. Mile marker 41 is right about here and when you come up the hill here, right here, there's a big sign that says Skyland Resort. You turn right and you go in about 100 yards and turn right again, and there's a park, big parking lot right here. You park here, and then this is the foot trail that takes you up. It's blazed blue, takes you up to Stony Man Summit. And then you can come back around the loop this way. On the way down, this is blazed yellow. And this is the horse trail. And you can follow the horse trail back to the parking lot right here. So you, you can use the foot trail or you can use the horse trail or any, any, any combination. Up near the summit, there is, you'll see, you'll not, well, it's kind of hard to see because I marked over it, but it says BM benchmark 4,011 feet of elevation. It's right about here on the map. So when I went up here, I came up around this way in a counterclockwise direction. And when I got to a certain uh, spot, there was, there's these little wooden stakes in the ground with numbers on them. When you get to number 13, if you head off to the west over this way, and then look for the highest peak of rocks. And then in the very top of that, that's where the benchmark's located. So I looked for that first. Then I went up, up here to the uh, overlooks and got some, got some shots from up there and then came back down. So this is a real short hike, under two miles. Uh, I am going to try to restart my hiking. I've been sick for quite a while uh, with a condition that affects your joints. It's like an arthritic condition. And uh, it's, it's got, it got pretty bad for a while, but now it's starting to clear up. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, get hikes in. So if you're subscribed to my channel for the hiking, uh, Stay tuned. I'm planning to uh, do some more hikes this year and also some overnight camping trips. And that's the hike for today.